top of your screen, you're going to see that there's this uh, double sort of arrow or chevron pointing here to the side. If I click on this, there actually are more tools that aren't across the top of my screen right now. Depending on the size of your screen and what tools you have on your toolbar, these may or may not be hidden for you, but they are for me. So I press on this arrow, I can see a couple more tools here. I'm going to go and take a look at the shapes toolbar. So when I click on shapes, these are all shapes. There's some more going over this way that you don't have to draw freehand. You can press one of the shapes and using your finger, it will draw that shape for you on the screen. There's lots, lots of different ones. If you want to then change the color of the shape, you can do that as well. And again, just by selecting, um, selecting the shape, you can get there by the drop down menu and going to properties. And I can change we're in fill effects, and I can change the style with which it's filled. So I could fill it with a solid color if I want. You can see that there. Another way to get to that point is if I just click on my shape and press onto my properties tab, the same things comes up. You can do things like gradient fill, where you fill it with two different color, all sorts of different things that you can play with, but they don't have to stay as black and white objects. Again, you get there by, in my case, pressing on the arrows and finding the shapes object. The other related tool is this regular polygons one. And again, this is just more shapes, but it's giving you polygons with a set number of sides. So if you want an eight-sided figure, just press on the number eight, and you can draw it there. I think it goes up to 15, maybe the largest that it, that it goes to. And again, you can change the color of these objects.